Good morning, new dogs and friends. It's Monday, 5 of July. We're in the middle of the winter. We are busy with our series, Gear. And this week, our theme is Geared to Go. My name is Rudolf, and today I want to talk to you about faith will move you. If we want to be geared to go, we need faith. And I want to read a verse in Hebrew 11, 27. It says, and it speaks about Moses. It says, by faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as one that sees the invisible. I want to say something. Faith will always move you. Faith moved Moses out of Egypt on his journey with all the Israelites to the promised land. If we think of Abram, faith moved him from, where, from his hometown to the place God promised. It moved Abram to Maria where he offered his firstborn. Um, and that's where God made him one of the fathers of our faith. If we think of Noah, faith moved him to build an ark. And I believe more than ever, you and I need to know that we need to move. We need to go. There are so many things that God can ask us to do. Places that he can ask us to go. Maybe you need to go to someone who is in sorrow today due to the death of a loved one. And maybe you thought, Lord, what will I say? It's not important. God just say, go, go love the people. Maybe you need to go and reconcile with someone. Maybe you need to go and spread the gospel somewhere at, at your work. Maybe you need to go and tell your faith stories and share with other people what God has done in your life. Whatever you need to do today to be geared to go, you will need faith. Yes, you will feel uncertain. You will wonder, what will I say? How will it play out? It's not important. Faith says, I'll go in faith. One of our missionaries, and I want to close with this story, Erika Pretorius, told me her story, how she got to um, Russia. God called her to spread the gospel in Russia. That's about 20 to 25 years ago. And she obeyed the voice and the calling of God. But she only had money to buy a ticket to get from Russia back to South Africa and a ticket and money to buy a ticket up until at Spain and a few bucks in her pocket. So she obeyed God and she got on the aeroplane and knowing that she only had money and a ticket to get to Spain. But the Lord told her that when you get to Spain, I want you to go to the harbor. So she went to the harbor and when she got there, she said, Lord, okay, here I am. What now? And then she tells the story of a man walking up to her. Uh, she didn't know this man. But this man told her, lady, I saw you in a dream. And God wants me to help you. And in that way, she got the ticket for the rest of the way to Russia. I want you, I tell you this story to illustrate the principle if we want to be geared to go, we need faith. We need to trust God. Where do you need to go today? Who do you need to call today? What do you need to do today? May God truly bless you. May He lead you. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I pray that we will have the courage and the faith to obey when you call and when you send us. Help us to go faithfully. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching, for being tuned in. God bless.